Hello, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. We have an update on the Dungeons and Dragons movie for Paramount uh, and E1, or Paramount E1, whatever you want to say it. Um, now, I know some people that have worked on this, so I'll give you the official update from The Hollywood Reporter, and then I'll give you an update from my sources, a bit of background information actually on it, the tone and things like that, because I think a lot of people will be interested in that. It does sound quite promising, actually. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't... I don't hate how it sounds anyway so we'll dive into it it's linked down below check it out uh, also linked down below is uh, my patron my merch my Christmas merch which you can check that out that's actually underneath every video cop yourself some xenomorph sweaters uh, Christmas sweaters that is so uh, basically Chris Pine is 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 the star attached to this movie and I say star um, obviously not a lot of people really you know He's middling. People like him or they dislike him. It doesn't really matter either way. Uh, but he's he's the star. He's the big name attached, which makes a lot of sense. Most movies have to have a name attached. Uh, and he seems to be the one for this. So this article just says, look, Chris Pine is getting ready to roll some D20s. Uh, the actor who is gearing up to return to the world of superheroes with Wonder Woman 1984 is in talks to star in Paramount and E1's long gestating Big budget Dungeons and Dragons movie. It's reasonable budget. I'll say that much from people I know that have worked on it. It's reasonable budget. Uh, it's not really long gestating. They have, they've done a lot of stuff on it actually. They've done all their kind of pre, well, so much so that they're hiring people. So it's not super, you know, pre-production stuff anymore. Um, it's not really long gestating. It's just been taking a while to get made, <laughs> for sure. Uh, now anyway. Uh, Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly, the duo behind New Line's sleeper hit Game Night, are set to direct the feature based on the popular fantasy role-playing game. Uh, Goldstein and Daly uh, also wrote the latest version of the script based on a previous draft by Michael Gillio. Now, they say that plot details are being kept under wraps, uh, but the game is known for its war games, treasure hunts, campaigns, camaraderie, and reversals of fortune. All in a setting that combines humans, elves, orcs, and hundreds of other creatures. The game famously uses multi-sided dice in gameplay uh, and is overseen by a host known as the Dungeon Master. Right, so, what do I know uh, about this? I do know that at the very least in pre-production phase, they were going absolutely all out with respect to to uh, the creatures. So, as they rightly say here, it's famous for its creatures. It, it is incredibly famous for its creatures. Um, which is huge. Massive. You know, they have lots and lots of diverse creatures. But I do know that they're going all out. Uh, and they also had some, some quite horror elements to the monsters uh, that they were designing. It's not R-rated, though. I'll say that much. But they didn't shy away, at the very least, in the design phase. Okay? At the very least, in the design phase, they didn't shy away from going all balls to the wall uh, with pretty monstrous-looking creatures. And they also did quite a wide variety as well. Um, so that's positive. Now, uh, the, the, other, the other thing... Uh, it's shooting in Ireland. It's set to shoot in Ireland, uh, which I don't think they say here, but they do say um, that, you know, E1 and Paramount are jointly producing and financing with E1 distributing in the UK. It's actually being shot in the UK as well. So no normally if it's been shot in Ireland, you will end up actually getting uh, quite a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And I would imagine uh, they'll be shooting it. Yeah, it, well... We'll see. We'll see where it shoots, whether it will be sound stages. I think some of it will be sound stages. But Ireland's pretty good for uh, its quite kind of diverse array um, of mythic-looking landscapes. Um, now, the other things is that it won't be uh, a, a sort of a, a Game of Thrones-esque adult uh, nature to it. Um, but there will be lots and lots of monsters, uh, and some of them will look quite horrifying. So that's all I know. Um, I do know that they are going for more of a fun romp with this movie. Fun adventure romp, I guess you could say. Romp's maybe the wrong word. I don't want to compare it to Stranger Things, but I want to compare it to Stranger Things. <laughs> you, 
You know, sort of fun, family-friendly, good stuff with a bit of horror thrown in. Uh, that's where they're going with Dungeons & Dragons. So don't expect an R-rated uh, Dungeons & Dragons movie. That's not what they're creating here. And you, you wouldn't... You wouldn't think that anyway from Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly. They're not they're not horror people, are they? Let's be honest. So there you go. There's my exclusive uh, news on it. Uh, and I am actually looking forward to seeing the monsters, how they come out. But yeah, like, it's moving ahead nicely. Uh, now, this article finishes off by saying the game, uh, whose rights are controlled by Hasbro, was previously adapted by New Line in 2000. The film star Jeremy Irons. In recent years, property has been at the centre of a legal battle over its film rights with a 2015 settlement appearing to have paved the way for Warner Brothers to make a movie that at one time had Ansel Elgort in early talks to the star. Uh, however, the rights eventually hit the trail for Paramount, which has a production distribution deal with Hasbro. So they're just kind of continuing that. Um, so that's not bad. Let's just hope they don't you know, go balls to the wall like they did with the garbage uh, Transformers movies. Now, Hasbro, E1 and Paramount are jointly producing and financing with E1 distributing in the UK and Canada and Paramount distributing in the rest of the world. Uh, Brian Goldner is producing via Hasbro, while Jeremy Latcham is producing for E1, which was acquired by the toy giant in 2019. Uh, Pine, obviously... You know, it's currently in production on 1950s set thriller Don't Worry Darling, uh, being made by New Line. And, yeah, supposedly in talks here. So, like I say, nothing too crazy with respect to his appearance. Um, I, I can't imagine what role he's going to have. Just some sort of weary warrior, maybe. I mean, it's your guess is as good as mine, but because it's going to be family friendly... Yeah, it's, it's going to be fine, isn't it, really? Um, I'm looking forward to it, though. I think the rise of sword and sorcery is happening. So we're getting Dungeons & Dragons, yeah. We're confirmed Netflix is doing He-Man, several He-Man projects. And confirmed Netflix is doing uh, Conan properties as well. So we're definitely getting a rise of sword and sorcery stuff, which is great for me because I just released the teaser trailer to my fantasy horror film, which is sort of sword and sorcery. Um... So, yeah, I'm loving this news. It's good to see a return of it all. Uh, but it'd be good to... Uh, hopefully, Conan's going to be R-rated anyway. It'd be good to get the kind of programming. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Uh, please do give this video a share. Because, again, there's some information in here that no one else has actually revealed. Island. Loads of monsters. Fairly kid-friendly. But not, you know, R-rated and not super, super low kiddie kitty film. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thanks so much. Take care.